Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use some blackberries and some Jack Daniels Tennessee honey to make this, the Tennessee bee. But first, this. All right, so let's get into this. I was at the liquor store and I was browsing around trying to come up with an idea of what I wanted to make for you today. So I wandered through the whiskey, of course, Canadian whiskey, just got to go there because I'm Canadian. I went through the bourbons. I even went to the wall of scotch because, well, I like scotch and I can sit and stare at a wall of scotch for a while. So while in my travels, I came across uh, this Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. I hadn't had it before. And when I was looking at this thinking back, I remember a, a story that not somebody told me. It's actually what happened to me. I was 18 years old. A bunch of our friends, we were at his place. We were having a small fire in the side there. And we had a whole bunch of the original Jack Daniels. And, you know, as you do when there's a pretty girl there that you want to impress, you drink more than you should. And then everybody goes, children of the corn, running through the cornfield, because there literally was a cornfield right next door to us. And that was actually... Well, I was 18. So the corner was actually taller than me at that point. And that's pretty impressive. Um, so one guy got lost. Another guy got something in his eye and was crying like a baby. But, you know, those things happen. And I realized I had way too much to drink. So I didn't really have a good appreciation of the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. However, this is their Tennessee honey. And this counts more as a uh, honey liqueur than it does for a straight whiskey. And this is a 35% alcohol, and it's very much a uh, a sweet kind of, uh, some people will say syrupy taste, but it's not that. It's just sweet. You just get a little bit of the whiskey coming through. And, you know, uh, I was working on shooting this before, and I had this whole taste test thing happen. And then I was calling my fruit by the wrong name through the entire video, and I had to stop that. However, I'll put one of the pieces at the end of the video just so that you can uh, watch me uh, totally screw up everything. So the drink that we're making here is called the Tennessee Bee. And the first thing, of course, I need is my mixing glass. Now, we get to use a little bit of fresh fruit. And for this, we're going to use some blackberries. And you want to take four or five or six pieces of blackberry, depending on the size of the blackberries. And we're going to muddle that. But first, we're going to add a little bit of maple syrup. And I'm using a, a Canadian uh, maple syrup from Quebec because you just can't go wrong with a good Canadian maple syrup. I think the closest maple syrup outside of Canada that I really like comes from Vermont. So those of you in Vermont, thumbs up. So we need one ounce of this or 30 milliliters. The next thing we need, of course, is, ah, if I can actually get this done, um, is a little bit of lime juice. And again, we need one ounce of that, which of course is 30 mils. This is where we're actually going to muddle this now. And we're just going to muddle it gently. What we're doing is we're just beginning the breakdown process. And what this will do is this will start drawing some of that flavors out, especially the natural sugars from the uh, maple syrup. So next thing, of course, we need is a little bit of Tennessee honey. For this, we're going to use an ounce and a half, and that works out to 45 milliliters. And last but not least, we need a little bit of Chambord. Now, Chambord, of course, is a French blackberry liqueur, and you need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. That's looking pretty dark. So what we'll do is we'll shake this now for a good 10 to 15 seconds with some ice. Here we go, look at that. That is a dark purple if I've ever seen a dark purple. Now the recipe calls, of course, for putting this in a goblet. But we're not going to add just one piece of ice or crushed ice. We're going to actually add a whole bunch of ice.
Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Got to do it right, get that other piece of ice in there. So now what we'll do is we will fine strain this because what we want to do is we want to keep it the little ice chunks. Although you could have them in, you could put the blackberry chunks in if you want, but we want a clean looking cocktail for this. I am pleasantly surprised at how dark that is. That is very, very much a nice looking cocktail. And we're gonna garnish this, but we'll garnish this with a wedge of lime. So cut it in half like so. Now you can get multiple wedges out of a lime. So for those of you who have never done that before, cut your lime lengthwise. And you can now cut this into three, four pieces, All right? So, Nice, simple, easy. We're gonna put a little diagonal cut in here, like so. And we are gonna put this right there, like so. Look at that. Nice, clean, crisp. I don't think you can go wrong with that. It's a gorgeous hue of purple and blackberry. Oh yeah. Let's give this a bit of a sniff, see how this goes. Now I am curious because the honey liqueur is a sweeter liqueur, right? So. That's good, you can taste the blackberries. You can taste the chambord. You get the honey taste and a little bit of the sweetness from the uh, maple syrup. You could maybe do with a touch more uh, lime juice. Maybe in my opinion. Let's give it a try, a little bit more because right now it's a little sweet. So let's call that an ounce and a half of lime. Give it a bit of a stir because I like it, but it's very sweet. You get that honey taste and it's almost a little bit cloying, but not quite. Let's just try this again now. Oh yeah, that's better. That's better. So in my opinion, I would go with an ounce and a half of the lime juice that balances it out better. It's not quite as sickly sweet. So it gives you a really nice level and even uh, uh, taste. Nice looking cocktail too, I must admit that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down below. And what I'll do is I'll put down an ounce and a half of the lime juice instead of one ounce in that description. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I post a new video, you'll be notified. And for those of you that are my current subscribers, thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. Welcome back to Boy. Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today, we're going to use some Jack Daniels. <laughs>